Hey, Bass Geek here, and we're taking the little boat out today. Let me give you a little bit of a tour of the boat for those guys that haven't seen it. I've got a 30 pound thrust, which seems to be doing well. Minn Kota, uh, I don't even know what the name of it is. But my favorite thing is I bought the transducer to be able to put, and the mount to be able to put my 10SI. And as you can see, with a completely different transducer, we're still getting the brown. So we're gonna have to send that unit back. Hummingbird, fix my, okay. Uh, got me a panel, just in case, because I've got some older batteries. Now here's where I'm keeping my rods. And I've got way too many rods with me today. Generally, I'm only going to bring about five to eight. I've got nine, so I'm, I'm one over. But here's the good thing. You know, I put these straps in just for that reason. Turning around, you can see I've got a lot more crap. I've got the drone. I've got two batteries. Back there's my lunch. I don't know how I'm going to get to that. I've got a tripod with the camera. Hey, guys set up and there's my batteries but you know guys as far as the boat goes i love how stable this boat is and i mean i'm a big guy and it trucks right, right along that 30 pound thrust does well okay so i bought this pelican at the beginning of the year you know i haven't i ain't got to get it out and, and fish the way i wanted to so far but you know the thing about it is is you know, A, because of, you know, the work schedule, we, we've got a guy hired in. You know, if you haven't seen the pimp in my little boat, go back and check that out to see everything I've done. One of the mistakes I did make was I didn't get a charger cord long enough to connect. So, you know, I've had to use batteries all day, but we can get that fixed. The other thing so far, you know stability of the boat you know it's taken me a little bit of used to guys you know it's been a long time since i had my john boat and you know the thing about the old john boat was you know it was a 14 footer this is a 10 foot boat and the thing about this boat is you know it's it's got pontoon like set up on each side so it is very stable side to side but it's still not bass boat stable so it's taken me a little bit. Uh oh, come on now. It's taken me a little bit to get used to. But to be honest with you, you know, after guys, you you know, everything's about having a routine in fishing. You know, once I get my routine down with this boat, it'll be like second nature. Now. I've stood up today, you can see that, uh, you know, with absolutely no problems. Um, I'm getting used to turning around in the boat um, to be able to get to the back to get to you guys. You know, it's just, uh, like I said, a lot of it is really going to be just learning to get used to this style boat as far as stability goes. Now, I know a lot of you, you know, you were talking about, hey, you should get a foot control. Well, I'll be honest with you, one of the reasons why I don't want a foot control on this boat, and I know you can see me reaching back and forth, is because if I'm making a long straightaway, you know, a foot control, it just spins around, spins around. You, I, I can cut this on high, point it in a direction, and go and i can kind of clean up and put up stuff that i've got out as the day's gone on so let's talk about control and maneuverability i like to set toward the front i've got my graph up here i've got my my controls up here you know so one of the things that you end up having with this is you you're light in the back and so you know it tends to spin around even though i've got two batteries in the back you tend to be light in the back so any sort of wind will spin you around. Uh, but I mean, how's that different from 90% of kayaks? 
<coughs> or pretty much any john boat if you're out there fishing by yourself now if i had another person in the boat with me which i will be honest i wouldn't be able to put the camera back there but we could easily fit two people in here and fish off this boat with no problem whatsoever the big challenge to that is going to be you know making sure that the guy up front is casting across the boat and not backwards and uh you know putting somebody's eye out but uh again no difference than you know uh fishing out of a regular john boat and one of the biggest reasons that i wanted this is because of the stability and uh you know because the chairs set up a little bit higher uh and they set up a little higher than what i've seen it really any of the kayaks and so far sitting down bill dancing it i'm able to flip with full size seven six rods uh, with no problem so I wanted to be able to do a lot of the stuff that I can do in the in, in the the bass boat and and this lake even though it doesn't look it right here this lake is actually down about five feet so normally it's it's way up into the brush and uh, flipping is something that I I really enjoy doing on this lake so let's talk about the negatives to the boat you know for me, for a small boat, for what it does, really the negatives, the only one I can think of is the seat. Uh, it's got good back support, no no complaints on the back, but man, my butt is killing me. And I've been out, I've been out here for, you know, three, I've been out here for about six hours, I would say. So uh, yeah, the butt, mm, it's, it's tough. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, I, like I said before, I'll probably upgrade these seats anyway. That's really the only negative of this boat. I mean, if you've got some small lakes around you, this boat right here weighs 150 pounds. You can put you a battery or two in it. You can put a good depth finder in it. And uh, you can get out and fish just like the big boys do on some smaller lakes. This lake right here, guys, uh, I want to say that it's, uh, I think I... 195 acres or something like that so i mean this lake's pretty small but uh but it's pretty fun all right guys so tell me what you think about the uh you know letting you know how the boat did it's it's done great it doesn't seem to be taking on water the batteries seem to be lasting a long time for for this now i've got two old batteries i'm probably going to upgrade those uh maybe even go with lithium you guys tell me what you think about that I've not used the lithium batteries yet, at least for my um, hummingbird, at least for, uh, you know, that I, I'm thinking about putting a lithium battery in here. It's lighter, lighten, up, lighten it up a little bit. And as always, guys, questions and comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk fishing and boats and uh, anything that revolves around the fishing world with you. Uh, like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe make sure you ring that bell so you know when the notifications are coming out and you guys rock